are looking for a perfect family vacation, a trip to good old Kentucky should be on your list. Joining us today from the heart of Kentucky horse country is Tourism Commissioner Mike Mangent. Mike, welcome to our Indy Style Show this morning. Boy, it looks like Kentucky behind you when we drive through the state. Beautiful horse farms out there. Uh, my first question for you here is uh, each spring we watch the Kentucky Derby Showcase, uh, Thoroughbreds at Churchill Downs, everybody watches that. But tell us about Kentucky's broader horse country. What will people learn and see when they tour one of the state's horse farms? And you have a lot of horse farms down there. We do, and, and uh, thanks for having me here today. Uh, you know, I'm in Lexington at Spy Coast Farm, as you said. We have 150 working horse farms just in Lexington, uh, more than 450 in the region. Uh, and through Visit Horse Country now, you can come and tour some of these working horse farms, uh, such as Spy Coast. So mm -hmm. when you come in, you get to see all aspects of it, the, the breeding operation, the mares and foals, which are in the paddock behind me, which is always a great uh, selfie shot when, when you got a little horse running around behind you. Uh, but you can also get up and cl close and personal to some former derby champions uh, or Breeders' Cup champions. You learn about their training and their care. It's really a, a newer experience mm -hmm. here for the, uh, for the state, uh, the horse farms in the past. We're a little uh, hesitant to let folks on, but it's a great experience and, and something we're very excited about. Yeah, so they, they cannot ride the horses there, but just kind of observe and see what's going on. Is that correct? At these, uh, at most of these farms, that's true, yeah. but there are opportunities at our Kentucky Horse Park, a 1,200-acre farm, which is actually just over the hill over my shoulder here, yeah. uh, where you can trail ride and, and learn more at, uh, all, about all breeds of horses. Mike, can you tell us about the new bourbon experiences here for those of us who don't drink, available to visitors uh, that's beyond this summer and down the road? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, have, uh, we are the bourbon capital of the world. Yes, uh, we make 95% of all the world's bourbon supply. And some, and some of the new distilleries, uh, whether you drink bourbon or not, are great to go in and learn about uh, the history behind it, the, the family stories. Uh, one log still distilling is actually an old family, uh, old bourbon family, the Dant family, that's coming back into the business. It's just opened. Uh, it has an amphitheater. It's going to have cottages and bed and breakfast, a restaurant. And then just down the road from them in Bardstown, Kentucky, is the Heaven Hill Distillery which is a $19 million investment just in their visitor experience. You can go in and bottle your own bourbon, yeah. learn about their, their various labels, and, and again, the family, the Shapiro family that's behind it. So you don't have to be a bourbon drinker to enjoy some of our bourbon experiences. And Mike, real quick, we're running out of time here, but Kentucky's famous for bourbon and, of course, horses. Can you tell us about one hidden gem there that we may not know about? Yeah, if, if I have to pick one, I'd say Mammoth Cave National yep. Park. 2021 is the international year of, of the cave, uh, and Mammoth Cave is the longest charted cave system in the world, over 400 miles. So no yeah. matter if you're a, a, an active spelunker and want to be, be challenged or just want to take a casual tour through the caves and see formations like Frozen Niagara, it's an experience you, you wouldn't forget. Yeah, I tell you, Mike, I've been there more than once to Mammoth Cave. If you haven't been there, you got to go. Real quick, how can people get more information? Sure. Uh, visit our website, KentuckyTourism.com, for curated itineraries, or check out all of our social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Mike Mangent, we really, really appreciate you taking time to talk with us here. I love the state of Kentucky. You always pass on through there, heading down to the uh, Appalachian Mountains. So anyway, thanks for joining us on Indy Style. Amber? Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it?